Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Easter Egg and Secrets Guide here in the Borderlands universe. This is the series where I take you through each of the three Borderlands games and uh, pick out a certain Easter egg or reference in there and then bring it to you guys and give you a little bit of an explanation of what it's all about. So today I've got three more great Easter eggs for you guys, one from each of the three Borderlands games you can see on the right hand side of the screen right now and uh, yeah without further ado let's get into it okay for our first easter egg then we are heading to Borderlands 1 and we are in the map Earl's Scrapyard as you can see here so make your way through Earl's Scrapyard and uh, you'll eventually come to his little shack on the right hand side which is where he lies you'll see uh, a wooden building right here with a couple of signs on it uh, you'll also see to the left right here is a previous easter egg and secret guide feature Scrappy which is the Scooby Doo easter egg but basically walk up to his shack and uh, he will either say what you want what you which want? is his famous line or yep but you only get to see his face here but uh, in the Borderlands game he is known as the Turtle Hermit now this is a Dragon Ball Easter Egg in which um, it's referencing Master Roshi now Master Roshi is a uh, Master of Martial Arts in Dragon Ball who trained Gohan, Ox King, Goku and Krillin um, and like I said he was known as the Turtle Hermit um, he often wore a tur turtle shell on his back and they often um, collected women's underwear as well and in Borderlands um, Tannis actually claimed to have given him his underwear at some point as well so all of this uh, turtle hermits collecting underwear um, and just the general look about him is all references to the Dragon Ball Saga series uh, whatever you want to call it so that is our first easter egg of today okay moving on to Borderlands 2 then and uh, we're going to be looking at the character Zero and one of his special skills which uh, you can activate in Deception which is Boar. Now Boar obviously uh, shows the weakest point of an enemy uh, but when you go into Boar, it will, uh, sorry, when you go into Deception and Boar is active you will see a little circle appear by an enemy. Now there's a load of different text on him, there's smiley faces and uh, loads of random stuff as well, things like that. Uh, but there is actually um, occasionally, you'll see it coming up any second now, uh, the number 42. There it is on the guy right there. I will freeze frame it right now so you can see it uh, for yourselves. It says 42 on it. Now uh, this is from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy um, in which uh, the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything uh, is 42. So uh, if you haven't seen that film, go and watch it, it's absolutely brilliant really. But uh, yeah, that is a reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy um, answer of everything, the question of life. And uh, Gearbox have decided to put it in Borderlands 2 uh, from the uh, little text that appears in Boar. So very good uh, right there. So once again, that is a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Easter Egg. And regrettably, I'm bringing you this one. Um, I've been holding off for it for a while because I really don't like these things. They scared the crap out of me as a kid. But if you head to the veins of Helios, right outside the contaminated zone, and uh, just come up to this spot right here, you will spawn a boss. Uh, you have to activate him as part of a side mission, but uh, this guy is respawnable every single time. You should know him if you played the pre-sequel. He is called Clapleg. Now, it doesn't take a genius to work out what this uh, thing is referencing. It's a weird, uh, like, cone-shaped bot with a uh, big thing sticking out of his head. He does occasionally say the uh, the famous line uh, as well. But, uh, yeah, this is a Doctor Who Easter egg. And uh, this is a reference to the famous, baddest and most feared enemies out of the whole Doctor Who universe and they are Daleks so uh, Claplek is uh, very well named uh, to reference the Daleks are so, uh, like I said I didn't write these things as a kid and still at 27 years old I really still don't like the look of them either just from the childhood but uh, yeah I have to bring it now uh, well sometime so I decided to do it now there you go in the veins of Helios a little secret um, like mini boss thing and uh, yeah it is Claplek who is the Dalek so there you go guys that is Bond's the pre-sequels easter egg and thank god we're away from those horrible things uh, but yeah there you go guys that is another episode of ultimate easter eggs and secrets guides 
here on Borderlands Universe. Uh, that was episode 19. Once again, we had the uh, Dalek in uh, the pre-sequel, which was the Doctor Who Easter Egg from Claplek. We had the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, bore skill text, which referenced uh, the, the answer to everything. And uh, then in Borderlands 1, we had a Dragon Ball Easter Egg in which uh, Crazy Earl was referenced um, to the famous character Master Roshi from that series right there. So, really hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of Ultimate Easter Eggs and Secrets Guide. If you want me to feature any Easter Eggs or Secrets or references, anything like that, uh, in a future episode, drop them down in the comments below. Hopefully you have learned something today. If not, then check out a future episode. Maybe there's something in there that you might not have known about. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We really hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.